This man has arguably the greatest claim to be Canada's godfather of science fiction. This man also won both Hugo Nebler Awards, and he is Robert J. Sawyer. You know how you know he's famous. They had actually on uh, Star Trek recently. They had a starship named the uh, Lu Shishin. Is there a possibility that Haya could form a new Chinese influence in the world of science fiction? I think absolutely. Uh, the most important thing that has to happen now for Chinese science fiction is for Lu Shishin not to be a one-off. So we need more of that. So this year's winner and next year's and subsequent year's winners, when a Chinese author is even just nominated, let alone winning, nominated for the Hugo Award, it tells the worldwide science fiction community that this is something to pay attention to. So uh, this is a breaking down of walls that's long overdue and I'm delighted to see it. The kind of science fiction that I write and Shi Xin Lu writes, uh, Lu Shi Xin is uh, what we call hard science fiction. That is not in ascendancy in the West. Uh, here in China, however, there's still a lot of vigor and strength to hard science fiction. Uh, China has been encouraging science fiction clubs on university campuses. It's been encouraging the inclusion of science fiction uh, works in the curricula in various topics because it's recognized here that the reading of science fiction is almost a prerequisite for a career in science and technology. And so, yes, absolutely, science fiction is in decline in the West because science and, uh, and technological supremacy is in decline in the West. And it's in the ascendancy here in the East. You mentioned that you have been to the China Dinosaur Museum and you also yes. are interested in the dinosaur. Yes, very much so. so. I wonder if you know in Zigong City, in Sichuan province, uh, we actually have the best dinosaur museum in the world. I know, I've not been to yeah, it. And it's also the, one of the best like places where you can get to see the fossils. Absolutely, the yes. We, it's wonderful to come to China and I've come now six times. Six. There's so many things I want to see in China. I want to see the Three Gorges Dam. I want to see so many things. I want to see the Terracotta Warriors. And of course, I want to see the Great Dinosaur Museum. My friend Kim Stanley Robinson, very famous for Red Mars, Green Mars, Blue Mars, among other books, uh, says, science fiction is just history continued. If you don't have a lot of history, it's very hard to write about the far future. I think here in China, if I was writing a novel inspired by or set in China, that uh, I would probably be inclined to write much farther in the future, as my friend Xi Xin Lu often does. Do not try to copy Western science fiction styles, voices, themes. Tell your own stories. What Xi Xin Lu proved to the world is that a uh, story deeply rooted in Chinese culture can find an audience worldwide. Don't try to pretend to be Western writers. Be proud and loud Eastern voices.